Alright, what's good YouTube? This is your boy Dr. ZZ and today I'm back with another video and I always come up with this question. People know that I'm doing blab and then they come to me like, alright Rick, I'm ready to become a doctor in the UK. So what do I do and where do I start? So this video is going to be just going to be an outline of how to become a doctor in the UK if you're an international medical graduate. Um, if you're from the UK, you're already in the system. So let's get into the video. So the first thing you need to do is you need to go into the GMC website and see if your university is in their list. If it is, great. You can move on to step number two. If it's not, you need to check out the maybe acceptable university. These are universities that are still under investigations. So these might come into the acceptable list or may not. So that is dependable. So you need to send a message to the GMC and find out about that. If it is in the not acceptable university, I'm sorry, you have to stop over there. UK does not accept that university then you probably cannot become a doctor in the UK but the rules change and maybe your university might go from not acceptable to acceptable and to maybe acceptable so make sure you continue watching the GMC and seeing if the university status changes and maybe it might become acceptable well if your university is either acceptable or maybe acceptable then we can move on to step number two find out from the GMC that if you need to do the ILTS exam because certain universities you do not need to do ILTS exams if you pro provide proof that I think 75% of your clinicals was in English you need a letter from your university. If that's the case, then you can completely avoid step three, which is the IELTS and move on to the step four. But as for my knowledge, I know that a lot of these universities, you need to do the IELTS exams. So let's move to step number three, right? The IELTS exams. Uh, I'm not going to go into detail because I have made a complete series on the IELTS exam. I will link my video down in the description below. IELTS for PLAB, everything you need to know. So you're completely informed how the exam is going to be and what kind of scores you're going to be. But yes, IELTS has to be done before you continue to the next step, which is going to be the board exams. So make sure you do the IELTS exams first. Uh, just a reminder, IELTS exams is only valid for two years. So only do it when you're sure that you're going to be sitting for the PLEB exams somewhere in the near future. Because after two years, the certificate is not valid. So you have to do the exams again. So now you have found out your university is in the acceptable list. You have found out that you need to do the IELTS exams. You have done the IELTS exams and got the relevant scores that GMC requires. You move into the next step, which is doing the board exam. The board exam is called PLAB and they consist of two steps. That is PLAB 1 and PLAB 2. So I'm not going to go into detail of these exams, but I'm going to make a separate video of it. PLAB 1 exam is basically an MCQ, which is a multiple choice question exam, which consists of three hours and 200 questions. And basically you will be given a clinical question where you have to choose the single best answer. That's PLAB 1. After you complete PLAB 1 and pass it, you need to do PLAB 2, which is an OSCE exam, which is a clinical exam. That exam is also comprised of 3 hours and 10 minutes, which consists of 18 stations. So you have to pass this exam as well and to get regist to become a registered doctor in the UK. One thing about the PLAB exam, PLAB exam is held in many different locations around the world. Uh, they have a complete list. Uh, maybe your country also has a location where you can do the PLAB 1 exams. PLAB 2 exams, on the other hand, is only held in the UK, Manchester. So to do the PLAB 2 exam, you will have to travel to the UK, Manchester, and do the clinical exams over there. Now, now that you've finished your PLAB 1, now and PLAB 2, you are ready to become registered in the UK as a doctor. So only then, you need to provide all your school certificates, your documents and so forth. So as you understand, the PLAB exam has to be done first and only after that, you need to provide your school documents to the UK and the GMC board. Now that you have registered yourself, what you do is you look for an FY1 internship, which is uh, the foundation year one and get into the system. So then you do the foundation one year one, which is the internship foundation year two, which is the second year of internship. And then you're into the system and you're you have already become a doctor in the UK. So that is basically it. That is how you become a doctor in the UK. Of course, it seems much more simple than it sounds. Of course, there'll be a lot more issues that you will face during the exams, such as visa issues, uh, studying and all that stuff. But yeah, if you pass all these steps, you have now become a registered doctor in the UK. Next time someone asks you like, you know, how do I become a doctor in the UK? Save yourself the trouble, send them this link so they will understand how, what are the steps they need to take to actually register as a doctor in the UK. So that's about it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel. You know, it really motivates me to make better videos for you guys. Comment in the comment section below if you got any questions and I'll be sure to like reach out to you guys and help you guys out. Until then, this is your boy Rick signing off. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.